Welcome back. So a lot of HIV and AIDS is automatically associated with sexual activity. But as we discussed very briefly in the previous episode, um, another way of transmission could be childbirth or mother-to-child transmission. Let's explore this further with Dr. Glory of the ASHA Foundation. Doctor, we say mother to child. Specifically, how does the virus spread? Is it just childbirth or could it be through breastfeeding as well? A mother to child transmission of HIV accounts for about 5.4% of all routes of transmission of HIV. And if the mother is HIV positive, she can transmit this infection to her child, transmit the virus to her child at any stage of her pregnancy. So it can be early on, right throughout the pregnancy, it can be during labor and delivery, or it can be during the breastfeeding period. Um, there is a 45% chance that a mother who's HIV positive can transmit the infection to the child. But more important, there's a 55% chance that she might not, okay. even without any treatment. Okay. But to reduce this 45% to less than 5%, we need to diagnose and treat the mother during her pregnancy. So what sort of precautions can an expecting mother take if she's HIV positive and then pregnant? Uh, firstly, all pregnant mothers need to be tested for HIV during that pregnancy. And this needs to be done with counseling and consent. Uh, once one of the HIV tests is positive, then we need to do two other tests. So the mother needs to have at least three HIV antibody tests before we can tell her that she's positive. The second thing is to tell the mother what is the implication of being HIV positive because this is an infection that is lifelong. And there is an urgency to the situation because she's pregnant. And we want to prevent the child from getting pregnant. So we don't know which child is going to be positive, which child is going to be negative. So all HIV positive pregnant mothers need to be, needs to be treated. So after counseling her, emotionally supporting her, telling her what HIV is all about, then we would talk to her about drugs, how antiretroviral therapy is available, and that we need to start the mother on these drugs there are actually three drugs available in one single tablet, which she needs to take at bedtime. So we will tell her about that. And then immediately after the first trimester is over, that is after 12 weeks, around the 14th week of pregnancy, we would start the mother on this tablet. And this tablet would be continued throughout the stages of that pregnancy, plus during labor and delivery, and during the breastfeeding period, that is for a period of one year after the baby is born and would be stopped only after the mother has completed breastfeeding the child. By doing this, uh, we can reduce the risk of transmission to less than 5%. Okay. So this can be pretty scary for an expecting mother. So what are the common misconceptions they have and can you clarify them for us? There are really no misconceptions, you know, when a pregnant mother comes to you. It's just that many of these mothers are young, have just been married, and um, they, they come for a routine checkup and then we you know, tell them you have to do this HIV test and we get their consent, we do the counseling. And then once they're diagnosed HIV positive, they are worried, they are vulnerable, they are confused. So we have to sit with them and spend a lot of time in counseling, talking to them. 90% of the women in our country who get infected with HIV actually get it from their husbands uh, during their marriage. So in a way, marriage is a risk for HIV infection in our country. And, um, and then throughout this period of pregnancy, we work with the woman, her family, her husband, all of them, and um, reduce the fear and the worries that they have. But till that one year period is over, when they've stopped breastfeeding and the baby is confirmed to be HIV negative, there is always a little bit of tension and worry. Great. Thank you so much for that info. That was very helpful. We'll be back with upcoming episodes to cover more information. See you later.